Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we're going to make a series of these platens for a, I believe it's a Rockwell grinder. All right, so before we do any cutting here, we need to clear the table off and get everything prepped. Now, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Apologize for that. Between being sick and then having to redo all the wiring in here. Um, it's been an interesting few weeks, to say the least. Uh, yeah, so what's on the table right now? First thing, these are going to be, and I don't know how well you can see this, but working on some tooling for aircraft repair. So these are just set Flaps and ailerons and all that good stuff. So we've got the general layout done and I'll be going from there next. Oh, I used a, um, I had templates that I was tracing and in order to hold the templates on the aluminum, I put a sheet of 14 gauge steel underneath it and then I used my tool miser holder, Andrew, thank you. Uh, I use that tool miser holder to hold things in place, hold the cardboard in place while I was. Uh, whew, that's heavier than I was ready for. Yeah, hold it in place while I was tracing, um, which is kind of neat. Good way to do it. See, typically, this is the stuff that you don't see on the camera. Usually, we make it look like this stuff just goes super fast and easy and quick because it's more interesting to watch. I was also cutting some stainless the other day. Uh, 220 inches a minute, I tell you, or 230 inches a minute. Just flew through, it was awesome. Um, as I leave the screen completely. That's probably loud. Sorry about that, folks. Oh. <coughs> and yes, I'm still, <coughs> excuse me, still a little sick, but I am a lot better than I had been. Most of the crud is gone at this point, so that's good. Three-eighths plate. I cut some architectural pieces for a company that makes beautiful railings and things of that nature. So you may have seen some of these on Instagram if you are following me there. It's uh, T-J-Z-E-L-I-C-K. I've had some of these accounts I've had before I had the, the shop and so it just kind of followed. I know I should probably rename it but it does show up with my logo for Inspiration Metal Works and things like that. Uh, what you can't see on the camera is I have this couple, you know, pair of boxes here that is a new welding cart for the uh, Miller Dynasty um, that just came in from Paul, uh, Zero Tolerance Fabrication, ZT Fab. So that will be coming up soon. What I've got to get to is this 316th sheet. Oh. And with all the stuff leaning against it, it's a little on the heavy side. This is the guy with the bad back. Okay. Oh. This is Oh, that was loud. Sorry, folks. This is the fun part, right? People often ask me, because I do have a bad back, they ask me how I manage to get stuff moved around. And this is how I do it. Very, very slowly. <laughs> All right. So, we have 20 pieces to cut. They are platens for a grinder. And uh, this job comes in about once a year. And um, so it's kind of fun. It's got one, 
one tight tolerance. The rest of it's pretty, pretty loose. So we're gonna pull up the drawing in the plasma cam software. We'll cut one of them. Make sure that we are, no, we don't have power. We'll make sure that we've got everything to spec. Just realized why we don't have power. Sorry, folks. I might edit this out, I might not, I don't know. We have power because the extension cord I'm using until I get the rest of the wiring done is not plugged in. I had been doing some milling and so I was using it that way. All right, let's take a look. Okay, like I was saying, we're gonna open up our drawing for the platen. So here's our standard drawing. Let's get, all right, plasma cam set up, <clears throat> that's ready to go. So like I said, we, what we wanna do, let's zoom in on just this one. So this is the drawing of the platen. The critical dimension is the width of these two slots, right? So what we wanna do, since we moved the machine and then we reset everything, is we want to um, we want to go ahead and just cut one of these pieces. Make sure that everything is working properly, uh, that we've got it all dialed in, um, and then if we need to, we can make changes. Um, the other thing that we need to do is we need to move all of this, move these drawings to the right place on the table. So I'm going to jog over, and, and if you, I don't know how well you can see. I'm, I normally I would do screen capture, but I don't have it set up on this machine right now. But uh, I'll move the torch over to that corner where I've got the part. Got my ground on there. So there's a little arrow here, right? Shows where the corner of the material is. We will move this whole set of drawings over. So now we're on the, we're on the sheet, okay? Um, I'm going to choose just this one, but I do need to set up the settings for this. Now this is 3 16 plate, right? So 3 16 um, we typically cut at 0.06. We're gonna tell it to zero out all our automatic arc, uh, our Z height and arc, uh, arc voltage shift. Um, so what we need to do though is give it the right settings. And what I do, the hypertherm, uh, it comes with in the manual, it actually tells you all the speeds and feeds for stuff. So for 3 16th, it says pierce time is 0.5. So we'll set our pierce to 0.5. Uh, speed, it wants 3 16th, it's just a chart you walk over and it says 85 inches a minute, right? So we'll set it to 85 inches a minute. Now this is generally a great starting point. Um, oh, pierce height, pierce height should be point. Yeah, 0.15, that's right, 0.15. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it, right? We say okay, everything's ready to go. When I press, you know, the effect, you know, start or cycle start, right? It will touch off, which grounds it out and resets the zero for the arc uh, voltage. So it'll automatically adjust the height and it will cut this uh, part. So let me reset the camera, uh, you turn the, the exhaust fan on and we'll cut this one part. I might actually, in the recording, turn that down. Okay, now, what you don't want to do when you cut something like this is just reach in and grab it. Because it's hot. I've made this mistake before where you're just, you're in a rush, you're just like, oh, well, it's just real fast. No, trust me, 
that arc is about 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. And yeah, it doesn't soak into the material that much, but that material is still really, really hot. And it will burn you uh, badly, in fact. All right, let's move this out of the way with the gantry. I've got a micrometer here. So yeah, whatever you do, don't do that. So you notice I'm just gonna tap it up real quickly. I'm gonna try to. Okay, so here's our, here's our part. Okay? Now, <clears throat> the micrometer out. And let's give a quick check. I'm measuring about 208, 208, 206. Now what I want to check, there is always a slight taper. So I'm going to check from the back side. Okay, so here, 199, 198. Okay, so we're close, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the, uh, the offset. Right? It's very close, but I'd rather be, and on, and on this tolerance, we're minus zero plus, you know, something reasonable, 10, 15, right? Which in plasma cutting terms is, you know, can be a little on the tight side, but it's not terrible. So what I'm gonna do is adjust our offsets and bring you back and we'll cut a second one and we'll see how it goes. So what do we think? Third time's a charm. And I have to admit that I'm optimistic. I know I'm a little rusty on this stuff, but we'll get there. Zero. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool. I, I'm getting the reading that I expect. I'm gonna let it cool, uh, cool off and double check it again. And then I think we're ready to go. We've got uh, 20, 20 of our platens cut. Uh, next steps are just to knock the dross off, right? I use handy dandy scraping burr. Love this thing. Dross comes right off on this. I mean, works better when it's on a table, but I mean, these cuts are, I don't know how well you can see it, but these cuts came out beautifully. With that, I think I'm gonna call it a, uh, call it a wrap. Jim, thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, uh, serve you, and I will—I'll uh, see you guys soon. <laughs>